So first and foremost, let us have a look at the armamentarium part and then we will look at the easy steps of how to connect any type of LED screen to a dental chair. Hello doctors, welcome. We are back once again with one of the additional videos related to intraoral camera. Today's point of discussion is going to be how to get a two screen setup done. The initial part of this section was already discussed in the previous video and that is what are the components and how to perform wiring etc related to two screen setup. Now the last part of this two screen setup turns out to be how to connect a TV screen or an LED screen to a dental chair. So today we are going to look at all the steps that include in this and it is a very simple and very easy process and anyone with simple tools can do it. Okay. So first and foremost, let us have a look at the armamentarium part and then we will look at the easy steps of how to connect any type of LED screen to a dental chair. So doctors, welcome back once again. I am Dr. Tarun Mawadia from Aksa Dental Academy. Let's begin. So doctors, as a part of armamentarium, as you can look on your screen, the few items that will be required are number one will be this type of a wall mount. This wall mount works best for a screen from 16 inch to 24 inch screen. Our suggestion is to put maximum 24 inch screen on a dental chair. The reason to use 24 inch screen is because of the advancements, 19 inch screens are going extinct and the companies have stopped production of them. So with the same price, if you can get a 24 inch screen, I think it is worth it. If you change this 24 inch screen into 32 inch screen, it becomes more heavier and it becomes more bulkier for a dental chair to handle it. So we will not recommend it to you, but it can definitely be done if you want to do it. Our suggestion is if you want to include 32 inch screen, try to connect it to a wall that is beside your dental chair or in front of your dental chair. But when it comes to connecting a screen to a dental chair, I think maximum limit is to be 24 inch screen. So once you have got this wall mount, the next armamentarium is this type of a C clamp. This clamp is mentioned as a 2 inch clamp. As you can see, the diameter of the half circle is 2 inch and this can vary. But most of the dental chair will have a pipe of 2 inch or 2.5 inch. This 2 inch clamp can work for both 2 inch pipe and a 2.5 inch pipe. Next categories of armamentariums are this type of a screws. They have to be compulsorily long. It can be 2 inch length long screws and each screw should have two nuts like this to provide extra protection. And you can additionally put some visors like this. So these are only the three armamentariums that will be required to connect a screen to a dental chair. Doctors, additional to this armamentarium, there are going to be some simple tools required to make these connections and connect our screen to our dental chair. And the tools required for these setups will be, as you can see on your screen, the first thing that will be required will be an electric plier. Number second will be an appropriate size wrench. And number third is going to be a screwdriver. So doctors, once you have got this armamentarium, now let us have a look at the process, how to actually uh, set up this wall mount and how to connect it to a LED screen and then, then how to connect the LED screen with this wall mount onto our dental chair. So doctor, as you can see on the screen, this is our aim. We are going to connect a LED screen to our dental chair. The chair generally connects to the pipe that comes out from your spittoon, which has your LED light on it. Okay, so these are the armamentarium or the connection part of wall mount to the dental chair. As you can see, it requires such long two inch screws with visors and two nuts for each. And this is a C clamp, which is two inch in diameter. There is going to be one modification we are going to do to our clamp. And that is we are going to twist or bend the ends of it little bit outwards so that uh, there will be an angle formed when you connect the screw inside. And reason for this will be known to you in just few more clips. Okay, so this is how these screws are going to go inside your clamp. 
okay and the reason for this is the wall mount connection that we get the clip over there is smaller in size so that if you have an angle you can easily place your screw inside this will not weaken your connection this is not at all harmful in any way so it is totally safe and this scale what is representing the pipe which will go through this half circle now some details on the wall mount wall mount can be movable uh, right and left up and down and this is the plate that that we connect our wall mount to so the wall mount will be getting connected to our led screen like this and this plate will be connected to our dental chair and this is how our assembly will be completed the wall mount has to be v shape on the top and it has to be from inserted from top to down from not from down to top logically you can understand that otherwise the screen will fall so before setting it up try to do a practical trial and and for the people who are new at this the v shape of it should be on the top or or else the connection should be from top to down so here as you can see the v shape of my plate which is going to get connected to my pipe is on the top for example let's say for example you connected it wrong then your tv screen will not get attached over there it will fall down so before screwing the wall mount please do a practical uh, observation and experiment and then try to observe how is doing sometimes the connection can be not fitting well together so first and foremost insert your plate correctly to the wall mount and then orient your wall mount according to that so that wall mount can enter the plate from top to down so this is what i have done over here the wall mount the v shape has to be on the top of the screen and i have checked my orientation sometimes for some wall mount from different companies there can be minor errors so if the screws are not going inside properly or not visible you can twist the ends little bit as as what i have done over here trying to show you now we are going to connect the wall mount with the help of the screws some of the oled led screens will not have screw with them my led screen is is older so at that point of time the connections and wall mounts were not provided so i have got an extra screw but with the latest led screens the screws will be provided to you so you can use those screws and tightly fit the wall mount to the led screen first once the connection is done now we are going to set the angulations of the screen as you can see the screen can be adjusted right to left and up and down but first and foremost i want you to tighten them little bit so they are not completely loose okay so we are going to initially tighten them and then re remaining settings can be done when the screen is completely connected to your uh, dental chair okay so here by using a plier and a, a wrench i am trying to tighten it okay and once that tight right left tightening is done i'm we are going to hold our screen with our hand and try to protect it from the bottom and we are going to set the up and down angulations all together depending on what height you are going to connect your led screen you will have to give it angle so that patient when sitting or on a supine position in dental chair can observe the screen properly okay so now i have set an angle for me together and i'm going to tighten it at that angle minor adjustments can be done later on okay so now here i am confirm the tightness my screen is not falling down and both the right and left and up and down connections are tight now i am going to at attach my plate and we are going to carry this whole assembly to our dental chair here you will require an help of your dental assistant or someone to hold the screen so that screen does not fall down as you can see on the pipe i have attached a plastic wrapper that is a clean film wrap you can connect your cello tapes also but they will stick to it you can see at the bottom of the connection there are some black marking or scratches on the pipe my assembly is more than 15 years old at that point of time i was not that much aware so i connected directly to the pipe and that led to scratching but now i would suggest you to connect a plastic wrapper on top of it so that there are no scratches on to your pipe okay as you have seen i have i have placed my c clamp and the screws inside it are passing through this clamp and the angle of our clamp is helpful for uh, to us over here for easy placement now place your both the screws inside and then tighten it with the help of a screw driver as you can see on the screen i am tightening it with my screw driver don't don't try to extra twist it because the clamp can break but you need to tighten it so that it can hold our screen properly once you are assured your assistant can leave down and now you can adjust the angles so doctor as you can see very simple very easy process and now our screen is connected to the pipe of our dental chair and you can see the setup for the people who want to improve aesthetic part you can color up your clamp as a white color you can color the whole wall mount as a white color but i think when the screen is placed at an angle as you can see on the screen over here most of the time these led screens are placed at an angle for the easy viewing of the patient then these connections are generally not visible to the patient okay so doctors this is the final look of our screen on the dental chair you can definitely agree that any dental chair with a led screen on it looks little bit more advanced and really you will really like to appreciate it 
So doctors, now at the end, there can be one question on your mind that I already have a laptop. I'm only using the laptop to show everything to the patient. Then what benefit does this give? Then actually, it, it does not give you practical uh, benefit in a way, but still there are psychological benefits to it. Let's say, for example, you want to travel from point A to point B. Okay, you are going to select any travel bus, for example. Now the travel bus can be air conditioned and neat and clean from inside. But if it is damaged or if it is it is not good from outside, you really don't appreciate it. It does not mean that you are not going to do the journey. You are going to do the journey. But on the other scenario, when your bus is excellently new and no damage and completely neat and clean from outside and similar things are also from inside, then you really enjoy the travel. You appreciate the travel operator. Similarly, when your dental chair is going to be not neat and clean, similarly, when your dental chair is going to be simple, it is not cleaned properly, it, it has some stains on it, patient is going to get dental treatment done from you. But when it is neat and clean, it looks advanced, it looks modern, patient really appreciates it more. Okay. And so that is why my suggestion to you is with little bit of expense, you can improve the quality of the treatment and you can improve the expense experience of the patient and this can definitely benefit out to you and this type of suggestions are more beneficial to the new dentist who are starting their dental practice because one of the major dilemma for new dentists is how to get patients or the seniors are taking up all the patients what to do now new dentists cannot immediately add experience to their field so my suggestion is add uniqueness to your practice and this is what can get you more patients or at least this is what can improve your practice okay so Look at the previous video that we have discussed. We have discussed about the two screen setups and computer and laptops and how it can be done. And this is the last segment of that discussion where we have just showed you in a simple steps how to connect any type of LED screen yourself on a dental chair. So doctors, I hope this helps and I request all the new dentists and actually all the dentists should try to follow this two screen setup. Whenever you are getting any dental treatment done, you can give suggestions to the patient. You can show them to the patient on a mirror. But when you record them and show them on a good quality bigger screen, okay, patient will really be able to understand it. Patient will be able to trust you more on that part. And this is what makes your experience of the patient better and also process of convincing the patient faster and better. Doctors at the end, few instructions. All the description links and the pictures, etc. are shared in the description of the video. You can click on the links and have a look at them. Okay. Also, the details of our WhatsApp group, We The Dentist, is in the description. It is turned out to be one of the very important WhatsApp group for the beginners where we try to solve daily queries of private practitioner. So if you are someone who don't have anyone to guide them on right or wrong things, if you want suggestions which are practically tried and trusted by many dentists and if you want what are the good quality materials, what are the good type of techniques and any type of queries. No question is a small question and no question is a stupid question for us in this group. So if you are shy of asking questions in some platform, this is the group for you. So the details are here in the description. You can join the WhatsApp group and you can present any type of your queries. We will try to solve your queries as soon as possible. At the end, doctors always make a habit of looking at the description box in our old videos. There is always going to be something interesting, something new uh, for you that can really help you out in your private dental practice. So doctors, that's all from me on this topic. See you all yet in another interesting video. Until then, stay tuned to the channel. Thank you.